Okay, this is a blood culture, uh, a positive blood culture, and the uh, anaerobic blood culture bottle turned positive after two days. The aerobic blood culture bottle remained negative. So we know that when a blood culture turns up positive, uh, the first thing we have to do is draw a little bit of that specimen off and make a gram stain. And when that was done, uh, gram-positive coccyon clusters were seen. Now, uh, with all blood cultures, positive blood cultures, uh, the physician needs to be called. So yesterday, when the instrument beeped and the gram stain was made in red, uh, the doctor was called yesterday. So at that time, the, the culture, these plates were set up and incubated overnight, and we're reading them today. So we have chocolate, sheep blood, and, and uh, McConkie's. It's possible that a CNA would be set up in a laboratory. Just in my laboratory, I just use this particular setup. <clears throat> so uh, one thing that's kind of uh, with, uh, we have to be careful with, with, um, blood cultures is that in the process of collecting the specimen, even though blood, as with spinal fluid, CSF, they're, they're sterile body fluids, but in the collection process, a needle needs to go through the skin to collect it. So, you know, there's definitely an extra procedure for sterilizing or reducing the, the uh, chance of picking up bacteria in the process of collection. So there's an extra... Uh, uh, disinfecting process before the specimen is collected. But that being said, for one reason or another, these blood culture bottles become contaminated with skin flora. So that's something we always have to kind of take into consideration, especially like in this case when just one bottle comes up positive. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our plates. And on our chocolate, we have just these slightly off-white, a little bit shiny colonies. Looks like all just one type. On our sheep blood, similar situation. And so I'm going to make the call that the colonies on this plate, the sheep blood plate, are the same ones as on the uh, chocolate plate. Let's go ahead and take a look at our McConkies, which has absolutely no growth. So if we look at the pathogens, the common pathogens, this is not a list of the only pathogens, but the ones that tend to show up in blood cultures. We have staph species, strep species, enterococcus, <coughs> candida or candida species, which is yeast. Uh, we can also have members of Enterobacteriaceae. Uh, or just kind of these general, generally speaking, kind of these big healthy gram-negative rods. So uh, the fact that there's no growth here on the McConkies allows me to pretty much rule out Enterobacteriaceae. Now, I also listed yeast, candida species. Now, the fact that when we pulled the bottle from the instrument and did a gram stain yesterday, um, we saw gram-positive coccyon clusters, well, that probably is a pretty good indicator that we're not dealing with the yeast. All right, so what to do with these. Now, I'm not going to, in these videos, I don't want to talk about what we do to work up. Basically, I just want to uh, just talk about how to deal with reading plates. So I'm not going to really talk much about, about how to do the work up. So now, based on my experience, uh, we know it's not a gram-negative rod. We know that it is not yeast. We're pretty, you know, Pretty certain, and we're talking about gram positive cocci. So, we're going to do that. And, you know, based on my experience, this looks like, like staph, like a coagulase negative staph. So, you know, the first test that we're going to do is, is, a, is a catalase. Now, assuming that this is, is catalase positive, um, you know, like I said, it, in my experience, it looks like coagulase negative staph, which may be staph. Epidermidis, Staphylococcus epidermidis, which of course is a skin flora and a common contaminant. So, uh, just bearing in mind what I just said, we've done the catalase, it's catalase positive. Um, we're going to go ahead and work this up, and we are going to send out a preliminary report to the physician. Now, even though we say that this is, you know, probably a contaminant. When we're dealing with sterile body fluids, 
uh, spinal fluids, things from the OR, blood cultures. We don't make the call whether it's significant or not. We're going to let the physician make that call. We're just going to go ahead and work up and report out what we have in front of us. So um, my preliminary report is going to be, and as I said, I think I said before, is that with the blood culture, we're not going to quantitate few, rare, few, moderate, many. Just the presence of the organism is enough uh, with the, from this culture type. Um, I'm going to say, uh, as my preliminary report, probable Staphylococcus species identification and susceptibility testing to follow.